Speaking of the main game, everybody, let's get back to it. I'm ready for immense disappointment and heartbreak. Uh, last night, our season was saved by the one, the only, the legendary Dominic Bonk. Fire Cam, what's up, by the way? Uh, this guy stepped into our lineup when we needed him the most. And thank God he did. He kept our season alive. However, however, um, Ottawa was a big enough challenge. Now we have to take on the 58-win Tampa Bay Lightning. And for those uh, who remember what their top line looked like, you will understand why I am not all that optimistic about how this series is likely to go. Even though, in the first rounds, the boys showed up, right? I mean, I can't complain about that production in the seven-game series. The only reason that series went to seven games uh, is the fact that our goaltending just wasn't up to snuff up until uh, we made the switch to Bonk, as uh, you can see by the stats there. <laughs> Keep in mind, Bonk is a 76, Hubbard's what, an 86? 87! And Kirsch is an 85. So, figure, uh, figure that one out. The National Dish of Iceland is called Carl. It certainly wasn't what I thought it would be. Okay, if I had to guess, I'm willing to take the distraction because, again, I think we're going to lose. If I had to guess what Carl's going to be, Gonna be something reindeer related. Let's see. Fermented shark. All right. Shout out to Iceland. That's hardcore. I don't think I'd partake, but fair enough. Let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Lightning, shall we? I got a real. Real bad feeling about this, but uh, see what we can do. We should have had home ice advantage in the series, but we just couldn't keep pace with the Lightning. Their top line, Nicholas Silverberg, eligible player to us, but we did not win that lottery. Noah Kosick, not an eligible player to us, but Skylar Cole, was very much an eligible player to us, but we didn't win that lottery. Uh, Tampa winning the 2030 and 2031 lotteries. Rough news, rough times for us. They still have Isaac Howard, Braden Point at 38 years old, and Joshua. Good old Joshua. Third line, Arseny Grutsuk. Redmond Savage, who's real, by the way. That's a real person walking amongst us. And Ivan Popovich. We have Victor Klingsel, David Lewandowski, son of Robert, and Frederick Ackerstrom. <sighs> so here's the problem, right? Here's the problem. That first line feels like it's going to be the big issue. But that depth could kill us, especially having 90 overall Isaac Howard on the second line. Defense, Liam Bexel and Jordan Spence, Michael Glanz and Maxim Sturbach. We played him before, didn't we? Yep, he was on Buffalo last year when they eliminated us. That makes sense. Kenny Morales and Luka Radievich. Goaltender. Well, this probably won't go well. Or maybe they're too good, and it will go well for us. Damn. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Another tough matchup. I want to take a look at the ratings between the two. Hey, Jay, what's going on? Let's see what these two teams look like. Our rating is 97, 95, and a 78 because Bonk is in. What a mustache on Skylar Cole, by the way. 
Um, obviously, their ratings are going to be better. 190 and a 90. Uh, we did technically beat a uh, 100 offense team previously. Megalodon, what's up as well? Um, I wanted to look at the X-Factors as well, because we know Cole's up there. Again, for us, we got five players with a gold. Tampa with just the two. Will that matter? Probably not. Gentlemen, pressure. We've never made it out of the second round, and now you got to play a team like this. Bonk and goal. Game one, first period. one nothing Tampa. Skyler Cole, the franchise power forward, scores early. Damn. Second period. Now, I'm not going to blame Bonk per se, because uh, we haven't been able to score either. Uh, but two goals from the mm, just Tampa to walk top this line. Grass. Shout out to the <laughs> Bobinator. <laughs> Let's see if that brings <laughs> us some luck here in the third period. We need a magical comeback, or we're going to be one nothing down in the series. 4 nothing Lightning. Zach Morin ruins the shutout. 5-1 Lightning. 5-2 off of Zach Morin's second of the period. 6-2 Lightning. Uh, <laughs> and what I said, this was probably going to go poorly. 7-2. 8-2. Why... Why can you not, from this screen, dictate goalie changes? What is the justification for our AI goalie or for our AI head coach to leave a goalie in for eight goals against? Tampa wiped the floor with us in game one. And, uh,. That uh, might raise the question of what to do in game two. That might. How badly affected were Bonk's stats from that game? Yikes. Just finished watching your Islanders Dynasty on YouTube. And working for this month. Bobinator, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun going back and playing older games. Always do. Always do. Couldn't even throw in the towel. <laughs> Bonk still statistically is the best goalie we've seen so far this postseason. There were a lot of calls about turning away from him should he get shelled in game one. He did get shelled in game one. He is going to start game two, and this could go down as one of my grandest mistakes. But Bonk gets one more chance. He's earned it off the back of winning us uh, the series in round number one. First period. Goalless. Not bad. Not bad. Second period. Goal apiece. Okay, Cossack keeps scoring, even though he's the playmaker of the line. Ashton Bootland gets one back. Much closer game so far. Power play for Tampa. No goal. Five minutes down. Shots are still relatively close. Power play for the Goons. And a goal as it ends for Cademan Helms. Tampa again scores, fails to score on the power play. Four minutes left. Nice Freudian slip there. Final minute. The ones in chat that did not trust him. How dare you? Shame. You should feel so bad about yourself. You need to strive to be a better person. Honestly. Cademan Helms gets the winning goal. Dominic Bonk, 33 out of 34 stops. And this series is tied, and we did our job. We took a game on the road out of the first two. From an 8-2 shellacking to a 2-1 victory. Not bad. Bonk's wild ride. <laughs> Game number three, I'm not changing a damn thing about this team right now. Game three, a big win on the road in game two. 
I don't know if Glendale just got eliminated or not. I kind of forgot they were in the playoffs. Glendale giant fists. First period, though. Game number three on home ice and a 2-1 Tampa lead. We scored first. Chris Beach on the power play. Macrons and Lewandowski. 2-1 Lightning. Second period. Out of here, boy! <laughs> Joshua and Skyler Cole. 4-1 Tampa. As our uh, inconsistent, tumultuous start to the series continues. Bootland makes a 5-2 prophecy of what's going on. Good to see you. 6-2 Lightning. We're getting murdered by the Lightning's power play here. 8-2 loss. 2-1 win. And a 6 Two loss. Allstead stops 34 of 37. Shout out to J Rose for uh, jinxing us by predicting six goals against you, jerk. Oh boy. All right. Well, we have uh, identified a problem. Not necessarily the goaltender, although I do want to see the overall goalie stats. Uh, through this point in the playoffs. I mean, the goals against now for Bonk are higher than that of Christian Kirsch, but uh, I think Dominic's still going to be in here, man. I think he is. But we do know the Lightning have scored a crap load of power play goals already. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. And you know what I want to do here? is uh, I want to be an old man and take a picture of my computer screen with my phone. And that way I can go over to the power play and see who should be here. By this game's definition... Okay, so we'd have Lindstrom at center. I don't want Lindstrom at center. So if we go to edit strats... Um, face-off formation is aggressive is fine. So I don't want Lindstrom to be the face-off guy on this particular line. I'm going to want it to be Laterno because he's got that silver quick draw, and then Silverthorn should be the center for the second unit. Obviously, I don't really want any of our defensemen out there, although Park might be worth it. Uh, so we'll leave that as it is, and let me go back up towards, oh my god, I always hated trying to edit these lines. Uh, so instead of Silverthorn, uh, let's go with Morin. Get Morin out there. And that second unit will be Bootland. Mm. We need Bootland, we need Silverthorn. Beach is fine. Park and DeRocher, that might honestly be the best way to do it. That works for me. Um, you know what, technically for Morin, that just might be too much puck to go around. Let's get Park out there. DeRocher will be on that second unit. I know, you know, in theory, we want to work on the PK, but I also think our power play hasn't been good enough. So I'd like to mess around, whoops, with both of those. So let's get Zach Morin in there. So top power play, Lindstrom towards the front. McQueen and Wasslin are set up well. Uh, Laterno actually has total eclipse and crease crasher, which Lindstrom does not. So let's, we also have Crease Crasher for Roger McQueen. It is worth noting Lindstrom has Total Eclipse too, though. Mm. What do we want to do here? Park is a righty. Let's get Wasselin on the point. Lindstrom and Letourneau screening. Get McQueen on the right. I think that's a pretty good way to go about it. Uh, the distributor 
should probably be Wasselin. Probably. The finisher, the main shooter on the power play needs to be <sighs> probably Park. Get the puck to Park, throw bombs on net for the other two to deflect. And wheels for Lindstrom, so he should definitely be there. I don't hate that concept. Um, and like I said, on the power play uh, face-off, we are going to want Letourneau to take the draw because of that silver quick draw. Let's get uh, Lindstrom over there. Queen, Wassel, and Park, honestly. Mm. There we go. That works. That's not a bad little setup. Uh, that second power play, we're pretty much going to copy it as well. We haven't really taken the time to set these up in this way yet, and I feel like that's been a mistake. So. Um, we have a lot of lefties on that second unit. Let's drop Silverthorn back. And Morin's good defensively, though. That works for me. It's fine. Yeah, I see the conversation about uh, UFL. I was hoping it would be good. Um, you know, I, I wrote for independent, ga independent game developers. You know, you kind of have the similar story with like that boxing game that came out where it's like, hey, you hope they're good, but you never quite know. Uh, distributor. Let's get the puck into Morin's hands. The finisher. I think, again, like we try to rely on the fact that these guys are power forwards. We rely on screens in front. And try to make the best of it. Let's get uh, Silverthorn on draws. The rest of that looks good. Um, so the PK. Who is out there right now on the PK? Okay, three. That that would... Uh, that's the four-man power play. Okay, we know what. That's fine. Whatever. Um, give me the penalty kill. Who's out there right now? Ponikarovsky, Morin, Park, DeRocher. Okay, well, there's no reason to have Ponikarovsky out there. Like, we want our top options out there. Uh, how good's Wasselin defensively? He's got stick him up. He's got shut down. Perfect. So let's get Wasselin and Morin in there with Park and DeRocher. Second unit is Lindstrom. Let's get uh, Silverthorne out there. And the third unit is Laterno and McQueen. I'm hoping that works better. We are sticking, though, with Bonk in goal for Game 4. We're down 2-1 to one in this series. It's been a very weird series so far. Close win and two blowout losses. Game 4, how's it going to play out? First period, 2 <sighs> nothing Tampa. This is, uh, this is what I was worried about. Damn it. Howard and Klingsel. Second period. 4-1 Lightning. We just don't have the response to get the puck past uh, past Wallstead as much as we need to and our goaltending unfortunately has uh, fallen off a little bit. 5-1, a shorthanded goal for Isaac Howard. Tampa's just too damn strong. Yeah, it's done. 7-2 ended up being the final score. Harvey Hose, uh, first ever playoff goal, if I'm not mistaken. Tampa has a 3-1 lead. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I hate to say it, but we might have to turn away from Bonk. We might have to. Eight goals, six goals, seven goals in the series. Uh, there are there are levels to this game, and uh, he's not on that level. We might have to change some things up about the lines, too. Tampa just seems to have an answer for us.
Really do hope, by the way, in the near future, we get uh, playoff stats that can be sorted per round. I've been asking for that for a long time, so please and thank you. Yeah, we are uh, going to be turning to Christian Kirsch in what could be his final game. Uh, Matthew, for some reason, people post on Twitter like without links, and I guess it helps it be more visible, so yeah, that's why. Um, I don't know for sure if it works. I'm just kind of testing it out this week. <sighs> okay. Well, Kirsch is back. Dominic, you tried so hard, and I respect it. We'll put in uh, Cooper Hubbard, who again has been a, uh, you know an embarrassment over the last two postseasons. That second pair is getting eaten alive. All right, let's go for uh, Sims and Hirsch, Peterson, Finley. Offensively, that third line is getting eaten alive. So if we have to make changes, the second line hasn't been that bad, but if we have to make changes, um, what's the best way to go about it? Hubbard only played one game, but he was on a very short leash because of our playoff history. Like, he has six playoff games, and look at his career numbers at the bottom. He has not proven to be a playoff goalie whatsoever. So. <sighs> Oof, indeed. Silverthorne has not had the the series we've needed from him. Let's go Bootland uh, with Beach and Ponikarovsky. I want to bump up Laterno. That way we can go more in Silverthorne, McQueen, Wasselin, Laterno, Lindstrom. Just to get those two silver quick draws down the middle and to Hope for the best in what could be our final game of the year. Unfortunately, the uh, Giant Fists were eliminated when I thought they were. It is game number five back in Tampa. Our season is on the line. We got to come from 3-1 down. See what we can do. First period, 2-0 goons. The new lines worked out a little bit there. Wasselin and Aiden Silverthorne. Second period, 3-1, a goal apiece. Isaac Howard scores again. Harvey Ho scores again. So we're up by two heading into the third period of this potential elimination game. Power play for the Lightning killed it off, and we score on our own power play. Chris Beach. Tampa gets one back with Braden Point. Five minutes left. Can we hold on? We should be able to. Chris Park, 5-2. And that is the final score. The Goons stay alive. Kirsch had a phenomenal game, stopping 40 of 42. He didn't want our season to be over. I heard the dog on the other side of the door. <laughs> Christian Kirsch, it's the game that we needed. Hopefully it's not too little, too late as we head to game number six, coincidentally, the same amount of games we lost to. Uh, we lost, you know, against Ottawa a couple of years ago. There's ways to phrase it. You know what I mean. Speaking of Ottawa, of course, we're rocking the uh, the vintage Brian 5 or 6 Ottawa Senator shirt today. So, hoping it brings me luck all the way from Ottawa, Canada. Not going to change anything with the Lions after that win. It's game six. Christian Kirsch gets another opportunity to bail us out. It's goaltending by committee. First period, 2-2. Two, two. two goals in two minutes and 52 seconds for the Lightning. Bootland on the power play. And Ted Finley, his first ever NHL goal. We are tied. Second period, and... Hagos made it three unanswered. Gritsuk and Popovich. 4-3 Lightning. Our backs are against the wall here. We need to find a way to win. We need 
This W, gentlemen, power play for the Lightning. No goal. Halfway through the period, and the boys are in trouble. Until then, Caden Lindstrom and Dean Letourneau. 5-5. Five, five. Silverberg. Under two minutes left. This game is tied. The Lightning score next. This series is over. If the Goons score next, there will be a Game 7. What's going to happen? How aggressive do we choose to be? Who's to say? But... Here we go. Late goings of this third period of play for those of you just tuning in now. I think we got to be aggressive here too in terms of settings. We got the face off win trying to come back from 3 1 down. Aiden Silverthorne saved by Wallstead. A breakaway immediately off the draw. Fuck intercepted by Silverberg. With space, windmill shot save, rebound! Puck's still loose and now behind the net. Nervous moment there. DeRocher to Park. Park had nowhere to go. Cole bumped off. Silverberg to Cossack. Turned over, McQueen bumps. Intercepted by Silverthorne. Silverthorne, save, big rebound, nobody there. Cossack holds on. Now Skyler Cole bumped off by DeRozier. Warren back to him. Well, DeRozier, the Fabergé. Spence up for Cole. 55 seconds left in regulation. Chris Park across for Morin. Morin held up. Hirsch fresh off the bench. A tired Aiden Silverthorne. Couldn't throw it on, gets it back. Silverthorne across, loose puck. And Wallstead is there. We're going for the kill. We are absolutely going for the kill here. They have the face off edge in this game. High up and Howard comes up with it. Spence gets leveled. Hirsch to Lindstrom. Lindstrom scores! Caden Lindstrom! Our captain's second of the night. Somehow sneaks in past Wallstead. He got a big piece of it. That is not the first time we've seen a goal like that go in. And the Goons have the lead in the final minute of the period. It is time to turtle. It is time to turtle, gentlemen. 25.9 seconds left. Hirsch for Lindstrom. Loses it. Wallstead's going to be forced to cover. Big moment here. Materno out for this faceoff. Has silver quick draw. Against Braden Point, the veteran at this stage, 38 years old. Materno wins it. Lindstrom to DeRoche. Shot scores! Brady Wasselin secures game seven for the Goons. Two quick goals in the final minute. As going with the silver quick draw center works. And that strategy of getting people in front obviously works out for the big boys. There will be a game seven back in Tampa. Seven to five out of nowhere. Another face off win. Joshua, the interception. Tampa trying to pull the goalie. 
Howard's shot is stopped, and there will be a game seven. Back to back series. We have pushed it to seven. We got the win last time. Hopefully, we can get it again this time. Damn, man. Was not expecting two goals before overtime, especially both of them being for us. There you go. Well, there was a penalty. It's just um, regulation expired. Wassel and deflection. Right here, Caden Lindstrom. I think that went bottom of the blocker off the back of the stick and in. If I had to guess. Two goals in 10 seconds. Let's take a look at it here. It was right off the draw. Gets it into a bit of space. Off, oh my god. <laughs> off the bottom of the blocker. The top of the pad. The bottom of the blocker. The top of the pad. And then batted in off the edge of his blocker. That pinballed around in his equipment. <laughs> Stays in midair and is swatted backwards. An Ishul goalie's nightmare. And then 10 seconds later, off the faceoff, Laterno to Lindstrom to DeRoche. It's screened. You can see Wallstead in the background looking. He has no idea where the puck is. And the tip for Brady Wasselin, no shot for Jesper Wallstead. We're going to game seven. It's a crazy, crazy outcome. <sighs> Another game seven for this team this year. All right. Now, I know uh, a certain someone in chat is uh, clamoring to see Hubbard get the start, but if I were to take out a goalie who just won us two games in a row, for a goalie who has the playoff history of the likes of Hubbard, I will be roasted alive should we lose, even if it's not my idea. Every single second round series is going to game seven, by the way. There's no denying Kirsch gets the start. He has won two in a row. He's the guy. He is absolutely the guy. He's earned it. He deserves it. It's very similar to Bonk in the last game. We have to go with Christian Kirsch. Game seven in Tampa. The two, if I'm not mistaken, the two best teams in the regular season. Case in point. A showdown in the second round, and only one of them can advance. Tampa and Trinidad. And Tobago, don't forget about that. Game seven, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. First period. 2-1 Goons, we'll take that. Ackerstrom scores first, Lindstrom and Desrochers with the goals. Uh, two in uh, a minute and five seconds, no less. Second period. 3-1 Goons, Zach Morin. Long way to go, but a 3-1 lead. 15, 14, 13. <sighs> Silverberg scores. Down to one. Can we hold on to the lead? Power play for the Lightning. We are not going to be able to hold on. The former first overall pick, Silverberg, has tied this game. 3-3 three, three. in game seven. Here we go. We tried so hard. 
but could not hold on. Well, for those of you just joining us, better late than never here in the late. You know what I'm going to do here, too? I mean, again, we're not playing, we're coaching. I'm going to set the boys to be as aggressive as possible on the next stoppage. Our fourth line's out there right now. Aidman Helms, the recovery. Harvey Ho couldn't get the shot off clean. Ho to Finley. Finley can't get the shot off. Helms can't either. Get that first line out there, boys. Harvey Ho. Alex to dump it in. Good four checking. Tampa gets it back. Helms, loose puck for Skyler Cole. Big save by Hirsch. Hey, goes to Ho. Those line changes out there, boys. Get those changes. We need a skill line out there. Cossack gets mauled by Chris Park. Park to Lindstrom. He scores. The captain delivers again. Moments after he stepped onto the ice, Caden Lindstrom gives the goons the lead. They're not going to show the hit on the replay. But we know where that play turned. The line changed to get the defense out there. Here's Chris Park stepping onto the ice, reading the play, gets over to the far side, and there is nowhere for Cossack to go. He gets leveled. I was going to say captain on captain violence, but a C against an A, and Park right through the chest. Look at that elbow swing. Right through the chest. Levels him. Absolutely levels him. Lindstrom quickly up to Park. And look at the quickness of Caden Lindstrom. The heads up play of Park. Centering feed. All the space in the world. Pots it off the post and in. Caden Lindstrom. <sighs> Tampa up 3-1 in the series now could potentially be moments away from losing this series. It is time to defend our asses off here, if possible. After the Lightning called the timeout, we have the puck off the draw. Park can't hold it. Lindstrom can't either. 2.07 to go. Tampa in control. Point to Spence. Tries to make a move through. Roche was there to break it up. Now it's Park. Or Wassel in this close support is horrific. Ah, oh, shit. I was changing the setting. Braden Point. For Isaac Howard. Loose puck. Josh Waugh. Big scramble. Point blocked. Wassel and recovers. Lindstrom up ahead. Laterno, no, it's DeRoche. DeRoche looking. Look, I'm still in front. The puck's so loose. I thought we had another one. Here comes Tampa, 122 to go. Silverberg has both their goals this period. When do they look to pull the goalie? Lindstrom trying to power through. Bixel turns it over to Lindstrom. Lindstrom to Wasselin. Brady Wasselin. Has it again, shot doesn't go. As we hit the final minute. Silverberg poked away by Morin. McQueen has it knocked loose. Silverberg for Cole, over the line for the Lightning. Silverberg looking, it's blocked, puck loose. Empty net. Aiden Silverthorne trying to end it, he ran into the goalie. Silverberg. Held up now, 36 seconds to go. Puck dumped in and over the stick of the defender. Ackerstrom loses it to Hirsch. That's JK from the ball, mm, by the way. 25 seconds. Grass. More in the silver thorn for the win. This is wide. <laughs> Stir back to Ackerstrom. Up ahead. Red Savage back for Popovich. Block Savage the chance. And again, a stop by Kirsch. 
Eight seconds left. Morin for Silverthorne. The goons are going to the conference final. From 3-1 down against the Tampa Bay Lightning, the goons will go to the conference final. As Aiden Silverthorne pots it from just beyond the blue line. The Lightning could not seal the deal. And the Goonfish have made it further in the playoffs than they have at any other point in this series so far. Redemption for the loss to Ottawa four years ago. Whew. The underdog Goonfish get the win. The number two team in the NHL in the regular season knocks off the number one team in the President's Trophy winners in what could be Braden Point's final NHL game. And it's from that hit right there as Park levels Kosick. It directly leads to a goal. Crazy save that we're going to get a better look at for Kirsch in a minute, but right here it was the captain, Caden Lindstrom. Once upon a time, we could have let him go via offer sheet. We elected to keep him. That appears to have been the right decision. And it was these two shots here, both by Savage. As the numbers here, shot blocked by his own man. And, you know, had Popovich had the awareness to toe drag, I mean, he probably would have scored a goal. Shoots it right into the skates. Watch this pinball around. Actually ends up right on Savage's tape. Kirsch makes the save. Off the blocker, up into the air. And another huge save on Savage. On a shot that looks like it was going wide. But damn it, it looked good. Christian Kirsch. Had a phenomenal regular season. Wasn't so great in the playoffs. Until this series, where he took over and helped push us all the way to the conference finals. A crazy, crazy turn of events for this team that will be playing the Washington Capitals in the Eastern Conference Final. The Capitals, of course, the uh, first ever team that we used in a draft to glory. They were the OGs. Oh, kind of glad it's not Philly either because they've uh, they've been very good over the last couple of years, but it will be the Caps in round number three. I believe it was Minnesota Calgary. Indeed it is in the Western Conference Final. We are down to the Final Four for the very first time.